Do you want to build a snowman? Yeah, yeah, mommy's gonna build me a snowman made out of cake. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> 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 new here do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell right next to it that way you can notified every single time that we upload a new video every single time that I say that intro I feel like I always try and say it like calm and collective and when I'm editing the video I'm like rewatching it I literally see it so fast like hi guys welcome back to the so as you guys read in the title I am doing cake mist this was actually like the last minute thing that came to my mind I was trying to brainstorm of ideas that I could do here for my channel or just on Facebook live like holiday or Christmas um, edition cakes so me and Alex obviously didn't do um, vlog mist but I will be doing like I said cake mix which will be seven days until Christmas so this will be the first day and for seven days straight aka a week I will be uploading a cake video here on my channel that will be Christmas or just holiday theme and today to start off cake mist I decided to do something huge so I will be doing a huge snowman today and also the other ideas that I have for the rest of the week are going to be cakes that I've never done before so I wanted for all of them to be either huge cakes or just new cakes here on my channel so this will be a huge four tiered snowman cake and you guys will be seeing the next ones coming throughout the week also fun fact obviously it's impossible for me to bake decorate and edit all on the same day for like you know a whole week straight so I'm actually starting this um, early December beginning of December starting the first cake I love doing this I enjoy doing this so much so I definitely wanted to give myself time just editing baking and doing all of this so I can have fun with it so yeah fun fact it is early December right now but you guys will be getting a cake miss seven days straight for a whole week also brought out my Grinch apron which I've had since last year actually um, it's been stored in there because it was not Grinch theme or Grinch season but we are getting into the spirit today, so I have my little Grinch apron. Also, if you guys catch me um, watching a little bit to the side at times, it's because the monitor is on this side. So I'm going to try my best to not look this way, but in case you guys catch me, it's because I can see myself through right here. Also, for it being the holidays, I really wanted to give back to you guys for all of the love and support that you guys... Please. Send it for the camera. I'm not going to send it right now. <laughs> it's 11 in the morning. Bro, we actually have nothing to do. Also for it to be in the holidays, I really wanted to give back to you guys for all of the love and support that you guys show. So I will be doing a giveaway every single video this week for Cake Miss. It'll be a $500 giveaway, five winners, meaning each winner will get $100. All you guys have to do to enter is follow my Instagram and leave any comment you want down below as well as your Instagram handle and your PayPal or Cash App so I can go ahead and send you your $100 and send you a message once I have sent that. Also, I know these kind of videos bring a new audience to my channel. So if you are new here and this is one of the first videos that you watch of me and you're thinking that I talk too fast, I probably do. I really try to talk as slow and collective as I can, but before I know it, I'm already going like 100 miles per hour. So again, if you're new here, don't worry. By the second, third video of mine, you will catch up to it and my voice will not seem that I'm going as fast. Baby G is, um, what is he about to do? What are you guys gonna do? Shower, a space. Alex is gonna be full dad mode while I do, while I get to Betty Crocker mode. Okay. Mm. Oh, oh. Alrighty. Hi, Bobby. Do you want this cake? Bye. Okay, so I already brought out all the cakes that I will be using. These I kept them in the fridge just so they could be um, completely cool by the time that I decorate. Also, pause. Let me take off my jewelry. Okay, so like I told you guys, it's going to be a four-tier cake. I actually already brainstormed and kind of did like a whole mood board on my iPad. Um, as far as how I want for this cake or how I envision for this cake to look. So the actual snowman is going to be three tiers and then the hat is going to be the fourth tier. So I was going to start off for the hat with a six inch and take it all the way to 12. But I decided to go in with a four inch. Look how cute and little these are. So this is going to be the snowman hat in black. I'll put these to the side. And now these right here are going to be all white. So I'm actually going to start off with the biggest layer. Also for frosting, I decided to go with whipped cream for this one. So this is the frosting that I will be using. I do get this at my local um, cake decorating store. Shout out Candies if you guys are from here. And this is what this looks like. So it is um, whipped cream. However, a lot of the accents on the snowman are going to be fondant. But this whipped cream will dry up pretty nicely enough to hold the fondant. So I'm going to go ahead and whip this up. And we're going to get to frosting. This is actually one of my favorite parts about um, cake decorating. Uh, frosting. So like I said, 
like I said, I'm gonna start with the bottom layer. Obviously, put it in my cake board already. And with my spatula, I'll go ahead and grab a little bit of frosting. I always like to add a little bit of frosting before adding the first bread, just so it kind of secures it nicely. I'll pop in my 10 inch. And then as far as filling, I'm just gonna be using the same whipped cream as well. A lot of you guys also ask me what I do with my cakes, so it is obviously going to be a lot of cakes if we're doing a whole week. But my cakes, I do give them to my mom, my family, my tias, my cousins, basically just family and friends. And my parents also own a business for those of you guys that know. So my mom also gives it to a lot of her coworkers, and then the coworkers um, take them to their family. So yeah, as far as the cake, it never goes to waste. Um, somebody will always eat it. So I'm going to go ahead and add some chopped pecans right on top of here. As far as the flavor of the cake, I never told you guys. So this is actually vanilla cake. But I added a gingerbread flavoring, this right here, which I actually just got introduced to it. But it is imitation gingerbread flavor. Guys, this smells so good. I added it to the cake, like not really thinking or not really knowing if it was going to make much of a difference to like the flavor of the cake. But it totally did. Even when I was baking the cake, like it smelled like if I was baking um, gingerbread cookies here. And it just gives the bread um, a gingerbread flavoring. Okay, so once I added my frosting and the nuez, I'll go ahead and add the second cake. And of course, I already went ahead and leveled off my cake. So I do like to take off like the pancita, the little belly of the cake. So the cakes are flat and straight, especially if it's going to be tiered. That way I can get it like as even as I can. Okay, so now to frost the cake. I love doing this method. I feel like it just makes it so much easier and also gives it just an even layer. So I'm going to use this tip right here. This one is Wilton 789, a piping bag. Okay, so now that I have my piping bag ready, I'll go around and just give the cake an even layer. I went ahead and turned off the lights just so you guys can really um or does it look too dark now that way um you guys can see like the actual frosting of the cake because it is white frosting the lights kind of um wash it off a little bit so hopefully this is better for you guys so you guys can um enjoy it a little bit more now to finish frosting this cake So also for the top part, I like to add this little lip or kind of like let this little lip hang. That way when I frost it right now, it just makes it just makes it easier to make it even. So I'll go ahead and do one last swipe. And then now to finish off this top part. Do you want to build the snowman? Like that anymore? Caps here. Well, Starbucks is here. Okay, so this first tier is done. I know you can see a little bit of the bread on this part right here, but I'm actually gonna add snow to the board in a second, so do not worry about that. We'll cover it up, so on to the second tier. Um, guys, I messed up a little bit. I just realized that I didn't put a board under this, so I'm going to have to move the cake once it's ready to actually um, tear it on top of the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this out with Conti turntable. Okay, so I'm going to use my backup turntable. This one has been um, used and abused. Literally, I've had this one for so long. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one and frost my last two tiers.
say bye everybody. This is Baby G, my son. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? Yeah, yeah, mommy's gonna build me a snowman made out of cake. Okay, so thankfully I actually had some black uh, buttercream left for my Halloween cake for those of you guys I remember. So yeah, I am actually using my Halloween um, buttercream. Okay, done frosting this tiny mini four inch one. I'm gonna put this to the side, do a quick cleanup, and then we'll get to actually putting the snowman together. Okay, so here I have all of the four tiers for my snowman ready. And then obviously this is gonna be the top, and then the middle, and then the, no, wait. <laughs> This is gonna be the bottom, the middle, the face, and then the hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and I actually wanna add some snow to the board because it's a snowman and he's sweating in the snow. So I'm gonna grab more of my whipped cream and I wanna add some snow here on the board. So I'm gonna add this whipped cream all around. And as you guys can see, it already covered up that little piece of bread that you were able to see at the bottom. So this is just the whipped cream, and then right now I'm gonna go on top of that with this sugar crystal. I don't know if you guys can catch it through the camera, but it is some um, sugar crystals that kind of gives it the illusion of snow. Okay, so now that I have this frosting on the board, I'm gonna go ahead and add the sugar crystals. Okay, I also want to go ahead and add this string to the board just to make it a little bit more Christmassy and cute. So I have my hot glue gun right here and I'm going to go ahead and add this to the border of the cake board. Okay, now to tear the cake, I'm going to be using this wooden... How do you call these wooden? These wooden ruts right here. So just for support because it is a four tier cake. So I don't want for my cakes, um, you know, to fall apart or anything. So I like to stick one in the middle and then go based off this one, opposed to me measuring every single one separately. Um, that way they are all the exact same height. So whenever I go in and tear the top cake, they're all as leveled as I could possibly get them. So once I have this one right here, I mark it with the frosting and then take it out and cut it up. Okay guys, many muscles later, I already went ahead and cut these up. I did go, whoosh, I did seven. Well, I meant to do six, but I have seven rods. The more the merrier, just, um, you know, the extra support. And they are all the exact same height. So I'll just go ahead and insert these into the cake. And now this is going to have support. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for these two tiers as well. So let me go ahead, put in my workout, cut up these ruts. So I do have to be one-on-one -on -one, um, several chandeliers. That's why I'm telling you guys it's a little bit tiring, but I'll be right back. Let me just get these um, cut up. Whew, okay, I'm literally out of breath. Um, all of my tiers now have the little ruttles, rot on top. I'm actually gonna get everything for the snowman ready as far as like the eyes, the buttons, just the whole snowman accessories and I'm gonna be using fondant for that. That way once the snowman is up, I can just go ahead and place everything where it goes. So first I'm gonna start off with the snowman hat. So it's going to be just a black hat and I need for it to have like, you know, the lid of the hat. Also, I did go ahead and order a fondant mat which didn't get here on time. Uh, so for this video, I'm gonna just have to improvise and use my island. But for the... Me. But for the upcoming videos, um, I will have my fondant mat. Okay, so I have my powder sugared right here. This will help so the fondant does not stick to my hands or to the table. My hands have been clean, washed, and disinfected. So this is more of a dark brown. I do want a black black, just like the hat. Okay, so I added some black food coloring and going to mix this up. Okay, thinking about it, I probably... Oh my god. She 
a professional. Thinking about it, I should have probably done this, um, the last step, just because black is so, so messy and it, um, you know, it got me all dirty. But it's fine, I'll wash my hands right after this. <laughs> me making myself feel better. This will not stain the island, guys, don't worry. Um, I do know a couple of tips or tricks um, to removing food coloring from the island because it's happened a lot of times before. But I'm basically trying to get this to a black, which if you guys have worked with black, it's one of, I think, one of the hardest colors to achieve just because it's so black, you know? Two hours later. Okay, here I have my black fondant. Let me do a quick little cleanup. I'll be right back. Okay, back and better. So to roll this out, I'm gonna add again a little bit more of this powder sugar. Okay, now that this is rolled out, and I did leave it a little bit thick just because, again, it's supposed to be the hat. I'm going to place this on top and cut around. And now I have my circle and just place it over my cake. Okay, now I'm going to do some snowman buttons. You can also just do like little bolitas, like just some circles. But I want to be a little bit extra with it and actually do some buttons. So with my leftover black fondant, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out. So for the buttons, I'm actually gonna use the bottom of this tip. It's one of those big tips. And I'm thinking, I'm trying to like eyeball how many buttons I want on him. I'm gonna go ahead and do five buttons or actually four buttons and then we'll kind of place them once the snowman is actually up. Okay, so these are going to act as the snowman buttons. I actually want them just a tiny bit bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll them out just a little bit. And then I'm gonna use this little pointy tip and I'm gonna cut out the four little holes that go in the buttons. Okay, so the buttons are done. My battery died, the memory got full. Guys, we've been going at this for three and a half. For three and a half hours. Obviously, all of this is like this is like fast forward and everything for you guys. But yeah, my battery died. Back on. The buttons are ready. Also, besides the buttons, he's going to need some eyes. So for the eyes, I'm just gonna give him two circles. Okay, I'll see. Here are the two snowman eyes. And then he's also gonna need a scarf and his orange nose. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the scarf. For the scarf, I want for it to be a little bit extra, so I'm gonna do red, green, I'm thinking stripes or polka dots. And then I also went ahead and bought this fonted roller that's gonna give it a texture of, how do you call it? Um, texture of like a knitted scarf. Okay, so this is going to be for the scarf. I have my red fondant right here. And then I'm gonna roll this out kind of like in a line. Again, because um, you know it's going to be a scarf. This is actually too much. So right about this much. And roll this out. So to know about how long I want this, um, it is going to be wrapped around the 6 inch cake. So I'm going to use my measuring tape to measure around here. And I know I want for it to be about 20 inches. So a little bit more right about here. Keep on rolling. Okay, now that I have it as long as I want it, I'm gonna grab this green, and I was debating if to do it stripes or polka dots, but I decided to go with the polka dots. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and start placing these polka dots on my scarf, aka my red fondant. Okay, so now that I have my polka dots where I want them, I'm gonna grab a little bit of water as well as this little brush and just place a little bit of water under the fondant and this is gonna act as a glue. Okay, now that my polka dots are glued down to my fondant, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out just so they become one and it seems like it's actually, you know, just the design in the fondant. And this is like a knitted texture, so it's really gonna give it, you know, the whole scarf feel to it. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab this right here and do one solid pass firmly so it can really trace out the design. So this is actually a pizza cutter and it will smoothly cut out my fondant, which I actually forgot to use when I was cutting out the circle. 
Okay, so here is my scarf that's gonna go around the neck like this. We're done with the scarf, now to tear the cake. Okay, now for the nose, I got a little piece of white fondant and I'm gonna color this um, orange. Yeah, I'm still here, babe. How long has it been that I've been doing this? Six cake? hours. No, not six hours. Four hours, guys. Ah, yeah, but the snowman's almost ready. She's gonna be looking thick. Okay, so actually, I went ahead and made the nose a little bit smaller. So here it is. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. And then finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, we are about to actually tear the cake. I'm gonna grab the bottom part of him, her, whatever you would like for it to be. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab this one right here, which I I was telling you guys I forgot to put a board under it, so I had to just leave it on the turntable. Can you just bring me a ladder, please? A ladder? Really? Yeah, it's like it is. Guys, the sun's even starting to go down already, so the lighting kind of changed from the beginning of the video to now. That is why. Okay, so da -da 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 -da. here goes nothing. Who's excited? Me. Okay, so I like to get a little. What would you guys do if my cake just fell like this? Just fell on the floor. I would just, I'm alive but I'm dead. I like to get on a little step like this and pop this on top. So actually, give me a spa my spatula. You're playing too much. Babe, I'm not playing. I'm being a professional. Okay, okay. Babe, I need your moral support. Go, you can do it. Babe. Okay, stand right there. You can be too toxic. You look like very perfect. Oh, she is she thick. Oh. <gasps> oh. Ah! places ladies Careful. dude I feel like I couldn't even breathe when I was doing that like I'm pretty sure I farted <laughs> <laughs> okay now to add the face of the snowman and I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop the eyes of the snowman okay guys so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the buttons face it towards me obviously so I'm able to see well actually I'm gonna pop on the scarf first Okay, so it's coming together a little bit. Also, this white that you see from the sugar, um, I will dust that off with, with water. So no se va a quedar así blanco. Okay, so just added the buttons on there. Okay, so for the snowman nose, I have these little um, palitos right here. And I'm just sticking two of them in the nose just so it has enough support. Ready to go into the snowman. Now on to the mouth. I just have these little balls of fondant and I'm gonna add these all around to create his smile. Okay, so the mouth is ready. These are supposed to be like little pebbles, so... And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the hat now. So this is a tiny little hat. It shouldn't be too hard to pop on top. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the hat. And we are just gonna be missing the hat um, ribbon around. Oh my god, this is oh big. God. Guys, I don't know if the camera is catching it. Like, it's almost half my size. Okay, now to put this around the hat, uh, I'm gonna grab, again, a little bit of my water so it can act as glue and stick right on the buttercream of the hat okay so i'm gonna wrap this right around and then i also have this little accent um this is also edible which is super easy to find right now around um these times and like your local cake decorating store so here i have it i actually took off the third leaf i feel like i don't know just two leaves uh will look cute and then i'm gonna pop this right on here now i'm gonna go over with my brush and uh, a little bit of water anywhere where i see sugar to get rid of it and this will basically uh clean up the fondant I can also use a steamer to just steam out all the fondant but um, it's not too much that I have going on so I'm just going to go ahead and use my brush and a little bit of water Ooh, me shiny <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and already covered up all the sugar which is why the fondant looks a little bit shiny but that will dry up so Now for the hands, I actually also found these at my local cake decorating store their little branches look like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on the side. So I actually broke one in half. I'm gonna hot glue gun this part right here and this one right here just so it gives the arms a little bit more dimension. And I feel like that looks so much better rather than just a stick. So now it's some little branches. I know they kind of have a, have a flush a little bit with the back. But that is it guys, the snowman is finally done! I hope you guys 
guys enjoyed watching. Thank you for joining me in making this huge snowman cake. I hope you guys enjoyed watching Cake Mess Day 1. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Day 2. I love you guys and I'll see you on... Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! It'll be a $500 giveaway, five winners, meaning each winner... Winner? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the dope. It's <laughs> No winners. <laughs> We're not giving away winners. <laughs>